Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be time traveling all the way back to the beginning of our time window, 1970, to listen to Led Zeppelin on the channel for the very first time. Of course, I'm familiar with the iconic Stairway to Heaven. Uh, I actually just discovered it several years ago, not like when I should have discovered it. But anyway, I know that's an iconic song. I've watched a Hearts performance at the Kennedy Center Honors countless times, and that's amazing in itself. Uh, anyway, I know that one, um, a few others, Cashmere, Black Dog, and Whole Lot of Love, I believe it's called. Everything else is a, a mystery to me, and I'm really excited to check out this band because I know they are at top legendary music status. So today we're going to be going to 1970, to the album Led Zeppelin Three. it looks like to listen to Immigrant Song. Here we go. It's quite a short one, so this should be interesting. So catchy. Why does that vocal part sound so familiar? Um, have I heard it before or have others used it as samples in other work or is it just similar to uh, another musical, completely different musical song that I've heard? I'm not sure, but that's really uh, kind of ringing a bell. So. If there's other songs that use it or something with a similar, uh, maybe I'll think of it in editing. But anyway, just rings a bell there. It's really cool that instead of uh, they could have easily used a guitar there for that part, but instead they use of you know voice the vocalist. I assume it was Robert Plant singing, and that's pretty cool. Um, I know I've heard another song where they did a whole like solo with the voice. Probably was Pink Floyd. So I love that they're doing this little musical part with the voice instead of a keyboard or a guitar, which they could have easily done. Um, speaking of his voice, I've always known, thanks to Stairway, that he has an amazing voice. It started out kind of low, but I love that he goes to the higher registers. Uh, it just makes it so much more effective. Um, a lot of uh, hard rock, heavy metal, and this type of music does that. Um, I know the singer from Rush comes to mind, another band which I know next to nothing about other than a few songs. But I have heard that singer's voice go to those high stratospheres. And we're not talking falsetto here. We're talking powerful high notes. And um, I know Robert Plant is clearly capable of that, judging from Stairway and, uh, of course, this one. So uh, it's such a short song, but it packs a punch from the very second it starts. And that's how they can get away with making it two minutes and 26 seconds. So um, anyway, really different from Stairway, of course. And uh, I'm sure they have a lot of songs in different styles uh, not everything sounds the same with them i'm sure and so uh, looking forward to exploring their catalog let's finish off the song that part. Wow. Very 
very abrupt ending there, just a tsh. That's kind of cool. So nothing like Stairway, a um, really short song, but very, very impactful and powerful. Like I said, it just packs a punch from the beginning to the end. And just that beat and groove that are going throughout the song just really makes you move and rock. It's kind of cool. It's like they have a, a power over you to hypnotize you, but not in a slow, dreary way to hypnotize you in a, you know, moving kind of way. So that's pretty cool. And one thing I noticed in the second section that I listened to, um, I don't know exactly what part, but the way he sings, it just went into my head. It's almost like he's molding and scratching at your soul and your brain as far as the journey he's taking you on vocally. I don't know if that makes sense, and maybe I'll have to go back and find that part, but that's the sense I got. And I don't know. I've never really got that sense listening to other singers, so that was pretty unique. I'm going to check out the lyrics now and be right back. So as I've been doing now, uh, I did a little research about this song before listening here, and I see it was inspired by uh, the opening of one of their tours, which started in Iceland, and the drama they had there going on with that. Um, they include images of nature here, uh, taken from that trip to Iceland. I think there's a little mythology thrown in there as a tribute to, um, you know, something else, um, just kind of something they were interested in at the time, I suppose. And... Um, I love that this one instance, you know, going to Iceland, having this experience there can uh, create this wonderful song, you know, these wonderful lyrics. Had they not done that, this song may have never been born. And, you know, think about it. That's how some of the most amazing songs are born by one experience, one dream, one something that comes into the uh, songwriter's head. So amazing, legendary song. Loved it. Uh, let's see. I see that they open their concerts with this song on several occasions, and I think that's an amazing decision. I mean, think about it. It's Led Zeppelin. The crowd is already hyped up, and then to just get them so much more hyped up at the start of the show with this song that really, like I said, packs a punch. Uh, what a way to get the crowd even going to the next level, you know? So perfect choice for the start to a concert. And again, it's very, very short, um, which is, I don't know, I like longer songs. But it was so good that I'm happy and fine with it being at 2 minutes and 26 seconds because it delivered everything it needed to in such a short time. So due to all that greatness packed in a small package, I will rate this an easy 5 golden records. Immigrant Song, Led Zeppelin 1970. All right, that's it for today. Um, I'm really excited to learn more about this band. Um, like I said, I know the members. I've seen the Kennedy Center Honors. I've heard now what five of their songs, and I know they have a lot more to explore. Um, I'm a keyboard guy, and I know that John Paul Jones apparently was the bassist and keyboardist. So um, I don't think there was any keyboard in this one. So I'd love to hear your suggestions on any amazing Led Zeppelin songs where they do include uh, John's keyboard skills because I know I would easily gravitate and love those probably the most. So uh, anyway, drop some suggestions down below. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoy this content and wish to engage with me. Thank you so much. You take care. Stay safe. Always remember to let peace, light, and calm into your day or night. I will see you next time in the past.